My name is Ryan Cole. I'm 32, a scientist at Stanford, and I've spent the last five years working on a breakthrough drug that could change cancer treatment forever. Then my dad called. I gave your research patent to your stepsister, Lily, he said, like he was telling me what he'd eaten for lunch. She knows how to make money off it better than you. I gripped my phone so hard my hand hurt. My research, my life's work, handed over to Lily, who got her business degree online and couldn't even explain how my drug worked. You can't do that, I said, keeping my voice calm. The patent isn't yours. Of course it is, Dad scoffed. Our company funded your research. That means we own it. And I decide who handles it. I could almost see his smug smile through the phone. Lily understands the market, he added. I glanced at my computer. An email from the patent office stared back at me, proof I'd filed my own application months ago. Dad had no idea. Well, I said, good luck to Lily, then. Hope she enjoys explaining science she doesn't get. Silence. He'd expected me to beg. Legal will send you the transfer papers, he snapped. Looking forward to it, I said, and hung up. My hand shook, not from fear, but excitement. I texted my lawyer, Maya. He took the bait. Then I sat back, remembering the day this all started. Two years ago, Dad introduced his new wife, Diane, and her daughter, Lily, at a company event. I'd just presented my research to investors, people were excited. But Dad barely looked at me. Lily's joining the company, he announced, grinning. She's got an MBA. Fresh ideas. I watched as Lily, who'd never worked a day in a lab, became the new star. Slowly, my team was reassigned. My funding got cut. Lily started sitting in on my meetings, taking notes like she understood any of it. That's when I called Maya. File your own patent, she said. And document everything star dot. Asterisk. So I did. Every email. Every meeting. Every time Dad or Lily tried to push me out. The real breakthrough? I'd made it on my own time, with my own equipment. My phone buzzed, Maya. Patent filed. Their transfer just triggered an investigation. I smirked. Lily's voicemail popped up next. Ryan, call me. I have ideas for your research. Yeah, I bet she did. I grabbed my files, labeled Operation Lockout, and headed to Maya's office. By the time Dad's lawyers realized they'd tried to steal a patent they didn't own, it'd be too late. As I walked out, my phone lit up, Dad. What did you do? I didn't answer. Let him panic. Maya grinned when I walked in. They just tried to file the transfer. The patent office flagged it immediately. How long until they figure it out? I asked. Oh, they already know. My phone rang again, Dad. Sixth time this hour. Maya raised an eyebrow. Wanna hear his excuse? I smiled. Nah. Let him sweat. The next morning, the company's lawyers were scrambling. Maya and I watched from her car as they rushed in and out of the building, faces pale. Ready? Maya asked, holding up our evidence. I nodded. Let's go ruin their day. I shook my head as another group of lawyers rushed into the building. He had his chance to talk before he stole my work. Let him panic. My phone buzzed, Lily this time. Her text made me laugh out loud. This is just a misunderstanding. Dad was trying to help you by putting smarter people in charge. Don't ruin everything because you're jealous. Maya read it over my shoulder and snorted. Smarter people? Does she even know what your research does? She thinks drug delivery means DoorDash for medicine. I said, last week, she asked if we could put it all in an app. Our meeting with the patent office wasn't until 10, but we'd come early to watch the chaos. Through the glass lobby, I saw them all huddled in the conference room, Dad, Lily, Diane, and a pack of stressed-out lawyers. Maya checked her watch. Ready? I grabbed our files just as Lily spotted me. Her designer heels clicked as she rushed over. Fake smile plastered on. Ryan, thank God you're here. You need to fix this. Dad's furious. And you're embarrassing the family. She reached for my arm. I stepped back. Embarrassing? By not letting you steal my patent? She rolled her eyes. Don't be dramatic. The company owns your work. That's how jobs work. Funny, I said, because Carter Biotech disagrees. 
Her smile froze. Carter, what? Before I could answer, Dad's voice boomed across the lobby. Ryan, my office, now. He stood in his office doorway, face red. For a second, I felt like a kid again, waiting for his approval, but not anymore. Maya stepped forward. Actually, any discussions happen with lawyers present. We've got a patent office meeting in 20 minutes. Conference room? Dad's jaw tightened when he recognized Maya. He'd met her at company parties, never guessing she'd be here as my lawyer. This is family business, he growled. No, I said, it's fraud. You tried to steal a patent you don't own. The word fraud echoed through the lobby. Employees froze. Lily went pale. Dad spun toward the conference room. Everyone, now. The next hour was a blur. Lawyers whispered. Lily fake cried into Diane's shoulder, and two no-nonsense women from the patent office laid out the facts. Carter Pharmaceuticals tried to transfer patent 639-7421 to Lily Carter, said Dr. Wong, but Dr. Ryan Cole filed it independently three months ago. Dad interrupted, all Ryan's research belongs to the company. Maya slid a folder across the table. Actually, here's proof Ryan did the breakthrough work on his own time, with his own equipment. She kept going, lab logs, emails where dad cut my access, even proof Lily's MBA was from a diploma mill. Lily turned scarlet. That's not fair. My degree is real. I leaned in, then explain how my drug delivery system works, since you're more qualified. Silence. Dr. Wong cleared her throat. This patent belongs to Dr. Cole. Attempted transfer is fraud, a federal offense. Dad finally cracked. Ryan, you're destroying this family. No. I said, you did that when you chose her over me. Lily burst into theatrical tears. Diane glared, you're being cruel. Cruel? I laughed. You tried to steal five years of my life. Dad slammed the table. What do you want? Money? A promotion? Maya and I exchanged a look. Time for the kill shot. I slid new papers across the table. I want nothing from you. Meet Carter Biotech, my company, my patents, my rules. Dad's hand shook as he read. You'll fail. We have resources, connections. And you have Lily, I said. Good luck with that. As we walked out, my phone buzzed, an email from an investor who'd loved my research. Subject, let's talk Carter Biotech funding. Maya grinned, ready to change the world? I smiled, born ready. My phone buzzed with an alert, a news notification. I tapped it, and my father's face filled the screen. He stood at a podium in the Carter Pharma lobby, smug as ever. We're proud to announce our revolutionary new drug delivery system, he declared, developed by our brilliant head of strategy, Lily Carter. My stomach dropped. Lily stepped up, wearing a lab coat like it was a Halloween costume. She fumbled with note cards. Our system uses targeted molecular recognition to deliver medicine directly to sick cells. Those were my exact words, from my patent. Maya burst into my office, face tight. Ryan, we need an injunction. Now. I was already moving, pulling up legal files. They're trying to steal it before the courts rule. Maya dialed a judge. Your Honor, this is an emergency. My hand shook. They'd just stolen my life's work on live TV. Midnight call. Dad finally called at midnight. You forced our hand, he said, voice rough. You could have been part of this. By letting you commit fraud? I snapped. It's business, he hissed. The stock's already up. By the time courts decide. We'll own the market. You think you'll win? A pause. Then, softer, come home. Ryan, we're family. I hung up. Fight back. The next morning, Maya slapped a court order on my desk. Injunction granted. They can't claim it's theirs. But the damage was done. Investors were spooked. We need to go public, Maya said. Tell your side. I hated the spotlight, but she was right. Interview with the journal. I laid it all out. The stolen research. Lily's fake MBA, how dad traded science for stock prices. The headline hit like a bomb. Biotech air accuses father of stealing cancer breakthrough. Lily's meltdown. Lily tried damage control, until a reporter cornered her. Explain how the drug system works. I, I handled the business side, she stammered. But you claim to invent it. Daddy said, she burst into tears and fled. Viral moment. Stock crash. Humiliation. Diane's plea. Diane stormed into my lab, designer heels clicking. You're destroying your father. I didn't look up from my microscope. He did that himself. Name your price to stop this. I finally met her eyes. I want my work back. 
that's it. The final blow, Dr. Chen, dad's oldest friend, visited me. Your mother would be proud, he said, nodding at my research. Half the lab wants to quit and join you. I stared at the data in front of me, 92% accuracy in killing cancer cells. This wasn't about patents anymore. It was about saving lives. 